Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome back, dear viewers, to another spectacular episode of Safir TV's series on Hajj, a journey of a lifetime. My name is Ali Hassan, and joining me is our Hajj expert, Sheikh Ayub. Now, previously, we spoke about Ihram. Now it's time to talk about the do's and don'ts while you are in that state. Sheikh Ayub, Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. How are you, sir? Alhamdulillah. I hope you're good too. I am very good. Thank you for asking. Now, I feel we're getting into the crux of the matter. So the rites and rituals of Hajj, getting into a very special um, stage in the entire Hajj process. So here we go. Let's say I am now in the state of Ihram and I need to know what I can and cannot do which I take it is, is very important. So please, if you let us know, what are the type of prohibitions, for example, while you're in that state? Now, Bismillah rahman rahim Every time when we look at the pictures or video clips of those people who are known as Hujjaj, pilgrims, we see them in that special garment which you have mentioned as Ihram. So once you are in a state of Ihram, it's easy to say either you are doing Umrah or you're doing Hajj. So you're doing one of the two. And this is, as you mentioned, it's a crucial stage of both Hajj and Umrah. Yes. When you are in a state of Ihram, so there are things which man cannot do and woman also cannot do. So let us mention sure. for a woman is easy to remember. Okay. There are only two things. Oh, really? A woman cannot do when she is in a state of ihram. By the way, when we stay state of ihram for a woman, she's not, it's not like a man, you have to wear only two pieces of sure. clothing. As we mentioned in previous programs, sure. a woman can, can wear anything which can cover her body. Just uh, adhering to the normal dress code, the Indeed. Islamic dress code. Indeed, sure. Islamic dress code. Sure. It can be a white, it can be black, it can be any, any other color. color. Okay. Any color. So for them, they are not allowed to cover, number one, their face, as well as hands. So they can't put something to cover their faces like burqa. Yes, yes, okay. Yeah, or any, any, anything which will cover the face. They are not allowed not to allowed do that. Not allowed to do no. that, okay. Number two, wearing something to cover their hands, okay. meaning gloves. Right. They are not allowed to wear what about gloves. Bangles. They can wear. Oh. Uh, for them, there they, they, they are no many restrictions like men. Oh, wow. But now when we come to men, there are many things which they cannot do. However, if we just mention few at the moment. Number one, men cannot cover their heads. Okay, so no ponchos or none of the, 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 the cloth that you tie around. You cannot take that and kind of shield from no, the sun, for example, no, and no. cover your head. For example, you know, within any Muslim community, you see many Muslims when they wear anything, for example, even a normal clothing, even yeah. suit and tie. Sure. Like, mashallah, you look very nice. Oh, well, <laughs> they, I don't know what to say. <laughs> yeah, Allah. They wear sometimes topi, kofia, head, something on their heads, yeah? With ihram, you cannot do that. Okay. And that's why when you look at the people who are wearing ihram, you can't notice anything on top of their heads. So it's, it's uh, just one uniform, two pieces of clothing, that's it. Okay, okay. And uh, another thing which men cannot do. How about uh, sewing clothes that you can sew, for example? Very good. Sewing clothing for, so we are saying, we are talking about anything which is sewn. Let's say T-shirt, oh. you can't wear T-shirt and on top of it you wear, for example, a haram. Okay. Boxers, pajama, you cannot. Because why? You need to be in that natural state of two pieces of this haram only. So basically everything. That, that's 99.9% .9 of the clothing that people wear you are not allowed to wear because they were at one point in time in a factory or in a home setting or whatever was sewn either by hand with a needle and thread or by a machine. Indeed. So basically yourself, you're obviously wearing your attire is mm. also sewn. So this is also something not allowed no. while you're in that state. No, no. Amazing. And that's why, again, there may be a philosophy behind that. 
But let us remember that we are going to be equal in the eyes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the eyes of all those who are going to be in Hajj. And sometimes, brother, brother Hassan, you may meet with someone, you, 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 are used, you used to see him in a certain attire, for example, Maulana, Sheikh, sure. and so on and so forth. Sure, yeah. There you may see him and say, oh, wow, I didn't know that this is the respected scholar or something like that. Because why? Wow. You just wear two pieces of clothing. So no covering of head, Amazing. no any sewn clothing. That is so true. For example, I'm used to seeing you giving sermons from the pulpit, doing majalis. And I have this natural thing. When I see you, I my hands go forward like this and I, I bend down because yeah, this is this is how you are to me. This is the may level Allah of bless you. respect. And I cannot imagine you just wearing two pieces of cloth. Mm. I may not recognize you. We'll sure. be standing side by side and I'll be like, Oh my God, Sheikh Ayub. <laughs> yeah, sure. That would be amazing. Sure. Um, and it goes to show uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't care for, you know, the suits. He doesn't care for no. the materialistic. Mm. He wants you and your niya. Indeed. And that's what counts. That, that's truly amazing. Mm. Carrying on on the topic of prohibition. So you've talked about any article of clothing that is sewn. You've spoken about uh, covering your head obviously mm. let's talk about males right now because females is quite easy sure. you guys are very lucky actually um but there's more so mm -hmm. for example when it comes to oh please tell me about what happens you're talking about the top the body the torso the upper body etc and, and below but what about the socks what about the shoes yeah am i allowed to wear my trainers my uh, Nikes? when you're in a state of ihram no 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 okay you can wear flip-flops all right and uh even if we are talking about sandals for example they shouldn't cover the, the, uh, this particular part of your... Just uh, the upper part of your foot. The upper part shouldn't be covered. Right. So you need only like uh, a string just to show that... You I have... think they're called flip-flops. I'm not really... Yeah, flip-flops are, yeah. are the, the, the ones which we need to wear when we are in a state of ihram. Socks, no. For men cannot wear socks. Not even those really small socks that actually don't cover the top part of your, you know, they're very thin. Yeah. Not even those. No. Oh, wow. even, even if we say they are, they can leave a upper part open, but still it's better not to wear them. Okay. And remember Arabs used to wear what they call them hoof. Hoof is like a leather socks. During the winter time, it used to help them a lot. Even now there are people who wear hoof. When you go, for example, for Hajj, you can find shops where they sell these ones. Even those ones, you are not allowed to wear. So don't cover anything. Uh, don't cover your feet with anything. Interesting. Is is it okay for people to walk around uh, I seven times, I take it, the mm -hmm. tawaf, yeah. in flip-flops? Have you encountered anyone with, with issues? Somebody saying, oh, I'm just finding it difficult. Or is it okay to do that? Yeah. Don't you get trampled on, stepped on? No, no problems at all. Oh, However, wow. there may be some cases, and uh, if you need them for the sake of your health, you you are allowed to wear them. Also, there's exemptions. There are exemptions. Very nice. Yeah, it's good to know. Okay, but um, we are talking about flip flops. Sure. No trainers, no shoes, nothing. Flip flops, yes. Well, if everybody follow the rules, for example, if you're wearing flip flops and then somebody's wearing boots, yeah, and if he st he steps on you, you're, mm. that's going to hurt. You know, yeah. steel toe boots. But if they were also following the rules, yes. then it should be fine. Indeed. Okay. Um, this one element I don't, I didn't quite get, and I need, I would like your um, uh, a chance to give you. For example, you can elaborate on it because um, it's a tricky one. I can't even get it out. It's something to do with moving under shadows. Mm. What What does that mean exactly? So when you're in a state of ihram, you are not allowed to cover, as we said, head. Let's say with anything which you wear. But sometimes you may carry an umbrella because the sun is so, so strong. Sure, sure. In that area of doing tawaf in the area of Al Kaaba, especially when you do it during the daytime, sometimes really you want to cover your head with, with something. So if you, ca you carry an umbrella, you are moving with the umbrella. That covering your head with a moving shadow, you are not allowed to do it. Okay. Uh, also, when you travel, for example, you travel between uh, the area of Miqat and you are coming to the area of uh, Masjidul Haram, for you to be under uh, inside the car, car which is covered, mm -hmm. you are not allowed. 
because when you wear a haram, you are not supposed to travel in a, can we use the word cover? The car which is covered or the bus or anything? Sure, well, any vehicle obviously has a, uh a roof, I guess, roof, over yes. it. Uh, only convertibles, yeah. they don't. So. The open one, you can. But okay. during the night time, you can. During the night time, you can travel uh, in any normal vehicle, uh, no problem at all. It's oh, wow. during the day. Uh, however, when you pass by places like, for example, a tunnel, you pass under the tunnel, the tunnel is covered, Sure. so you will be covered also. It's fine. Let because why? If that is this. not a moving shadow. I, this is quite tricky. Mm. Okay, so I'm going to recap because I, I want to make sure that I get it. And obviously, hopefully it's beneficial for our audience as well. Um, moving shadow, the term moving shadow. So anything that a shadow continuously moves with you. So that could be when you're in a vehicle, you're covered. And that is from Miqat to uh, which part? A to let's say Masjid al-Haram, Masjid this al-Haram. area. That whole area, obviously you need to travel by car because that's quite, the borders are quite far mm, away mm. when you begin that dress, sure. that dress code. Um, so that's not allowed and that's during the day only. So mm. I think I got that. Yeah. And as well as umbrellas, let's say you're doing it the waf and you want to hold an umbrella on top of you to protect you from the sun. Sure. Um, that's not allowed either because no. you've taken a shadow and you fixed it on yourself by yourself and mm. you're moving with it. Indeed. However, if there's a structure like a tunnel, um, or any structure that is permanently there and it's fixed in that position is stationary and you happen to pass by it and you obviously passed under its shadow as well, that's fine. Indeed. Am I? Am I you okay. are right. Okay. And let me add one thing more. Please. For example, you want to go to your hotel. Yes. So that's a building. Of course. You will be under the shadow. Right. A fixed shadow. Sure, You're sure. allowed to do that. Okay, that's really good. Yeah. Okay, and this is during the daytime only? During... Uh, no, uh, yeah, during the day time only, yes, indeed. I have seen some people who carry these, uh, I don't know if you have seen the umbrellas which, which are fixed. So they wear like a cup, on top of it there's a small umbrella. Right. <laughs> people make their the own, own things. Even that one is not allowed. Okay, yeah. I, I re- referenced the sun just now, both mm. of us actually, and the, the strength of the sun and how it, it can affect you, etc. Is sunscreen allowed? SPF 50, you know, can you put that on your face? No, no, no. Men no, and no. Women? women? Uh Yes, men and women. Okay. You are not allowed to, to apply, let's say now, let us call it cream. Sure, yeah. When you are wearing ihram, you can't apply cream, you can't apply uh any oily thing whatever in your skin okay no you're not allowed except again we are talking about exceptional cases you have skin uh problem let's say and the doctor say you have to apply right. so for medical reasons you can okay there's yeah. obviously exceptions it's common sense if, if it comes down to medical reasons yeah speaking of medical reasons as you know what's happening out there in the world sometimes you're required to wear a mask Mm. So what is the, I guess, updated ruling yeah. perhaps on masks for men and women? Yeah. Are they allowed to? Because that's a lot of people you do not know. Sure. And uh, hopefully everybody's abiding by the, you know, um, the rules and they've checked. No fever, all that jazz. Mm. Mm. What, what do you do in those circumstances? Always when we talk about uh, Islamic rulings, there are two things we need to remember. One is a, it's a primary, primary ruling and secondary ruling. These are two terminologies they use. Okay. Primary ruling, you are not allowed to cover your face. Secondary ruling, if there are cases where every Hajj will be required to cover part of their face because of uh, health issues, that may be allowed. However, because this, as you mentioned, is a new masala, it's a new ruling, every Hajj who will find himself in that position, he needs to refer this particular issue to the scholar, okay. marja. Check it because it's a new thing. What do they say? Of course, Hajj will be fine. Is there anything I need to to pay later on or not? Sure. So it's better to refer the okay. the higher uh, level of uh, scholarship in order for them to get a specific answer to the question. W- would you be able to tell us what um, the ruling is according to Ayatollah Shistani, perhaps? This is a new masala. So oh. we haven't seen oh, any. We haven't seen it yet. No, okay. because the issue we are talking, for example, now ah, uh, the, so new. the issue of COVID. Sure, sure. Yeah. So we will refer this, and then, inshallah, 
uh, maybe in this right. special program, which I hope we can do it on sure. these new issues, we can discuss about sure. this one. Apologies, I didn't capture that earlier. I, no I thought problem you were probably at all. being general. Okay, that's, that's really good. Um, back to covering your head. Is a man allowed to cover his head so that he can go to sleep? In a primary uh, ruling, no. Primary ruling, no. But there are cases when someone goes to sleep and uh, he may cover the head uh, with a blanket. Blanket, yeah. It's better to avoid. Okay. Better to avoid. But if he does so, the head will not be void. It does it matter that what if he's just covering, for example, just the, the body and not the head, or he wants to cover the entire... Some people sleep like that. They cover their entire body. Does that not matter? Am I going too deep into it now? Am I overcomplicating things or is there... No, 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 no. These are issues which are discussed. Uh, all, all the time, the scholars will say it's better for you not to cover. However, it will not make your Hajj to be void if someone covers uh, the head because of uh, sleep or something like that. Okay, so there's a specific topic here or a, or a question, um, and I would need your help to um, explain that a little bit more. When, it, when we talk about moving under the shadow or shade, what, when you've entered Mecca, what is the rulings as per Ayatul Shistani, uh, according to that? Uh, apparently that differs from other maraja. Is that, is that accurate, maybe? Mm -hmm. is, it permissible, is it permissible to be under a moving shade while in the state of Ihram after you have entered Mecca? Uh, when we talk about Sayyid al khui Sayyid al khui doesn't have this particular uh, uh, strictness. Sayyid Sistani, yes. So that's why we are mentioning during the day, you can't travel. During the night, yes. Uh, we say al Hui has a different masala on this particular issue. So, so far, many people, followers of Ahlul Bayt, they follow taqlid, they do taqlid of Sayyid Sistani. And Sayyid Sistani clearly says, during the day, you are not allowed to be in the, uh, under any fixed uh, shed, you have uh, you, you cannot be in, in, in a moving shed. Otherwise, you can, you can travel during the night. That's fine. Okay, brilliant. Yeah. Thank you, Sheikh. Now, we have run out of time, and I know there's so much more, so many more prohibitions to talk about, but we will do that, inshallah, in the next episode. Inshallah. Thank you very much. Inshallah. Ladies and gentlemen, my dear brothers and sisters, hope you benefited from that. Now, there is plenty more to talk about. For example, uh, we're going to talk about eyeliners, perfumes in the very next episode. So please do stick around and keep an eye out for it. Until next time, take care, stay safe. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.